All right, Waterbury Gravel Grinder. This is it. We got Joe, we got Tom. It's a little overcast, not too sunny. A little muddy, it's gonna be a little wet today. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. All right, hold up. Let's rewind for a second to this winter. In order to start getting into any sort of shape for a PMC, I knew I had to get a trainer, even though I don't like riding the indoor trainer. And that's where the Wahoo Kicker Snap came into play. I definitely do better when it comes to exercise when I don't have to think about it. It's somewhat varied and there's a slight bit of motivation for me. So being able to connect it to the Zwift app via Bluetooth was a huge help for me. I love that I could pick different routes depending on how long I had to squeeze in a ride before dinner or lunch. And seeing other riders virtually sometimes gives you a little bit of a push to go faster. The Kicker Snap is obviously a pretty big investment, but I definitely enjoyed its functionality over my old standard trainer and most importantly, how you actually used it. Oh, and if you do get an indoor trainer, check out the Vittoria Zafiro, Zafiro trainer tire. Don't know how to say that name. Save your expensive road tires for the actual road and use this trainer specific tire instead. It's quieter, it's much more durable, and it's a cool red color. I put a lot of miles on it and I can't even detect any sign of wear. I do have a fat bike and luckily I was able to get out a handful of times on the trails, but definitely not the best winter for conditions. We had snow, but always felt like it was at the wrong time or we didn't have the right conditions for local trails to firm up after they got groomed. So the bike I'm training on and riding for the PMC is Marin Gestalt X10, which I'll go into more detail in the next episode. It came in about a week before the gravel race in Waterbury, Vermont, and I'm pretty confident in setting up a mountain bike, but I definitely needed help since this was my first road bike. So I checked in with my buddies at Landry's in Natick, Mass to see about getting a proper bike fix. I knew they had a cool system that was pretty high tech. So I'll have you just take a seat on there and just see how close to the ground you can get. If you take a look, I apologize. Yeah, your right leg definitely appears to be longer. So the big things we changed on the bike were um, the saddle angle was way off. Um, and then we also raised the bars and brought the bars out so everything was a little too low and a little too tight. So we kind of stretch you out so you can engage your core a little bit more, um, be a little bit more comfortable. And then we really paid attention to what was going on with your knees, which was a function of your feet, and um, paid attention to your hips on the saddle, which was a function of the leg lane discrepancy that we discovered too. So all in all, you should just be much more comfortable on the thing now. So long story short, I was really glad I did the bike fit. Andy at Landry's did such a great job of explaining what he was doing and why he was doing it. My initial setup of the Marin was actually way off and kind of embarrassing. And I could start to feel the difference in comfort as he was making tweaks to the saddle position and the angle, height and reach on my handlebars. Yeah, your knee moved like three centimeters farther forward, which is huge. I have super flat feet and he even found out that my knees were kind of caving in on the downstroke. So something like proper inserts for my shoes made a big difference for me. And I know it's an investment, but definitely something worth considering. Especially since on a road bike, you're in the saddle so much more than a mountain bike. So being in the right position for comfort and efficiency is huge on those longer rides. At the end, it, it all felt great in the shop, but honestly, the real test will be how I felt after the gravel ride. So about that. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. 40 Embrace miles. the pain. 4,400 plus feet of climbing. It's gonna suck. Let's do this. The snow just keeps sloppy, hurdy, fast and fun. This was hands down the toughest bike ride I've done to date. What have we done so far, Joe? We're an hour and 15 in, we've done 13 and a half miles and 2,060 feet of climbing. Jeez. Yeah, not. Nah, maybe that's a bad idea. Drink it, drink it. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Over four hours, about 50 miles, 4,500 plus feet of climbing. It rained the entire week before, so all the dirt roads had a little bit of squish to them. Felt like you had a flat tire on some of those climbs. And the trails in the woods were downright sloppy. Sections where it felt like we were riding through a river. But man, was it fun. Super social environment, definitely the best pit stops. Little maple soap shop. Side back there, just said there's Twinkies up ahead. 
I might be going a little bit faster. Oh, Twinkie. <laughs> so good. Hold on, hold on. Bicycle Express for riding the Twinkies and Bud Light Lime. So for the ride, I slapped on the Vittoria Terreno Dry up front, but all I had lying around for the rear was a Terreno Zero, which is essentially a slick tire with a little bit of tread on the sides. This combo works surprisingly well, considering the road conditions and the scary fast speeds we hit. Some of these downhill turns we hit about 40 miles per hour, and I never had traction issues. Keep telling myself, there's tacos, there's beers after this, it's not helping. My back tends to tighten up a bit on longer mountain bike rides, but honestly, I felt quite comfortable the whole time, which is a huge testament to the Landry's bike fit. It really works, and after the gravel grinder, I can absolutely recommend going into Landry's and having your road bike properly fitted. World of difference. We finished. That was probably one of the brutalest rides, the toughest rides I think I've ever done in my life. So dirty. I did get so dirty. Despite being the longest and toughest road rides I've done, it was a great experience and I definitely want to do it again. And hats off to the Waterbury Area Trails Alliance for putting on such a great event. That's it for episode one. Thanks again to everyone that has donated to my PMC ride. For more info or to make a donation, hit up lucentproductions.com forward slash PMC. Does this place have a car, a bank wash? I hope it does. <laughs> <laughs>